Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I would like to share with you one more beautiful hat. It's a cable hat, so if you are a fan of cables you can definitely try knitting this hat with me. As you see I've done a folded brim here and it's quite wide. Uh, if you don't like folded brim, you can just make a simple brim. For this hat, you will need two pairs of circular needles, 40 centimeters, one for ribbon, it's 4 millimeters, and 4.5 for the main part. So always use two pairs uh, if you're, for example, going to use another yarn. So I'm using today Red Heart Soft Yarn. Uh, as it as you see, it's written medium worsted weight yarn and it's 100% acrylic. And of course, I do suggest you using something else, the, the yarn that contains wool or lana or something warm and more natural. So if you're ready and would like to try knitting this hat with me, you're welcome and let's get started. Using long tail custom method, and 4 mm circular knitting needles cast on 86 stitches plus one extra stitch to join and knit in rounds. Now slip the first stitch to the right hand needle and then slip the last stitch over the first one and drop it off the needle. Pull tight and return stitch to the left hand needle. If you want the hat that is more than 53 centimeters, the head circumference, then cast on 88 stitches or 92. Now turn. We are doing it because when we fold and make the folded brim, we want the right part, right side to be to be visible, so to be on the right side when we fold it. Now we are on the wrong side and how to understand it, you see these bumps or ridges and when we fold the brim they will be on the wrong side. So we are going to start knitting ribbon. Don't forget to place stitch marker and ribbon knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one, and as I said, if you want bigger size head, cast on 88 or 92 stitches, or even 96. If, for example, you want the hat for the size 60 centimeters, and the same, go on knitting ribbon, knit one, purl one. Please finish this round. So I've done the first round. The second round we are going to repeat ribbon. So we need knit the knits and purl the pearls. Again, knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Need one, pearl one. Please go on knitting ribbon until it reaches at least 17 centimeters. So I've done the ribbon and it measures now 17 centimeters. You can make it less, but as you see now, look, when I fold it, the right side without ridges is looking and turned on the right side. Now we are going to change For the bigger size knitting needles, uh, in my case it's 
and we are going to add four stitches we have now 86 stitches and we are going to add four more to get the total number that is divisible by 10. if you cast on 88 then add two stitches if you cast on 92 then cast on eight stitches so uh, i hope it's clear uh, redistribute these increases as even as possible so i'm going to need 20 or 22 stitches and then add one so for example here need the stitch through the front loop then need it through the back loop like this we add it let's do it again through the front and then through the back loop we we added one stitch so go on knitting all stitches three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 19 and 20 let's knit one more 21 and from knit stitch again knit through the front loop and then knit through the back loop so we added the second stitch again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And from this one, for example, knit through the front, knit through the back. So this is the third stitch and one more somewhere at the end through the front, through the back and last three stitches okay and the first round of the main pattern there will be in total eight rounds that we are going to repeat after purl two knit one Purl two, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, and repeat this ten stitches. Now we have, by the way, ninety stitches. Again, purl two, knit one. Purl two, knit five. Please repeat till the stitch marker. Round number two. Purl two, now instead of knitting the next stitch, slip it to the right hand needle holding working yarn in back then purl two knit five so in one round we will knit stitch in another round in the next round we will slip it and let's repeat these 10 stitches purl two slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back Again, purl two 
and knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Please go on and finish this round. Round number three will be the same as round number one. Curl two, knit one, that stitch that we slip in the previous round, then curl two again and knit five. And again, curl two, knit one, curl two, knit five. Finish this round. Round number four will be the same as round number two. Round number five is round number one again. And round number six is round number two. So it means you repeat first and the second round. And in total, six rounds. Round number seven. And this is round where we are going to make cable twist and for this you will need two extra needles or two cables cable needles so let's do it there are two need one Curl two. Now take first extra needle and slip the first stitch and leave it in front. And you can do like I'm doing so that you don't lose it. Now take another extra needle and slip next three stitches and leave them in back. Bring the yarn in between and knit one knit one from the left hand needle now knit three from the second extra needle one two three and knit one from the first extra needle if it's easier for you you can return the stitch to the left hand needle and then knit it i am doing it right away from the extra needle so that's how the twist is looking now let's repeat and i will show you it once more curl two knit one curl two slip the next stitch to the extra needle first extra needle and leave it in front. Then slip next three stitches to the second extra needle and leave them in back. Knit one from the left hand needle knit three from the second extra needle and knit one from the first extra needle that's it We've done the second twist and please go on and finish this round. And the last round, round number eight, will be the same as the first round, sorry, the second round. Curl two, slip the next stitch, curl two, and knit five. One, two, three, four five and again curl two slip the next stitch don't forget to slip it curl two knit five like this 
Finish this round till the stitch marker and then repeat from the first round. Don't forget to make the twist in round number 7. So in total I'm going to need 16 more rounds. So repeat the pattern twice. And then I will need two more rounds, uh, like the first and the second one. And welcome back. So you see I've done three repetition and two more rounds. So in total after the ribbon 26 rounds. So I use a stitch marker. For me it is better to count um, what I'm doing and where I am. Now we start shaping the crown. At this point the hat measures 20 centimeters. So at this point 20 centimeters uh, and it's the perfect time to start making decreases and shaping the crown. First round of decreases, purl two together. Knit one, then purl two together, knit five. So this round as round number three, but we are doing decreases here. Again, repeat purl two together, knit one, purl two together and then knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Please go on making decreases. Round number two, no decreases. Pull one, then slip the next stitch. Pull one again and knit five. Let's repeat. Pearl one, slip the next stitch, pearl one, knit five. Please finish this round. Round number three we are going to make again decreases. So this one, purl stitch and knit stitch, knit two together, then purl one, and then knit five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, knit two together, Purl stitch and knit stitch, then purl one and knit five. That's it. Go on and finish this round. Round number four, no decreases. So slip the stitch, you need stitch then purl one and knit five. And again, slip the next stitch, holding working yarn in back, purl one, knit five. Slip, purl, knit five. Go on. Round number five. This is the round where we are going to make cable twists and we will not make decreases here. So, knit one. Pearl one, and now I want to show you how to make cable twists without 
extra needles. So skip the first stitch holding working yarn in back. Now bring the working yarn in front and slip next three stitches. One, two, three. Now return the working yarn and knit one from the left hand needle. Now in back, find the second, third and fourth stitch. Try to pick them up with your left hand needle. Like this. And slip the first stitch and pick it up in front. So you make it first twist, so you see. And then knit three from the left hand needle. Now in front find the fifth stitch, this one. Slip first four stitches. Being careful, really careful. And place them back. It's a little bit challenging, but only because I'm not using double pointed needles and there are not so many stitches as it was before. So now you see you make the second twist and knit this stitch. And you see absolutely the same twist. So let's do it one more time. Knit one, purl one. Now again, slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back, slip the next three stitches holding working yarn in front. Now knit one from the left hand needle on the wrong side. Find the second, third and fourth stitch, pick them up with the tip of the left hand needle, slip the first stitch and pick it up in front. Now knit three from the left hand needle, one, two, three. Now in front with the tip of the left hand needle, pick up the fifth stitch, slip first four stitches, return them back and make a twist in this way and knit one. So if you if you find it's challenging for you, um, use cable needles. I think with cable, uh, cable needles it is faster. So go on making twists. Here I am. Now round number six. We are going to make decreases in this round. At this point, as I said, you can change for the double pointed needles because it will be a little bit hard to finish. Slip the first stitch, purl one. Now make the decrease. Slip, knit and pass over so we decreased one stitch then knit one and then knit two together instead of ten now you have five stitches and let's repeat slip purl one slip Knit, pass over, knit one, mm -hmm. 
need to together. Go on decreasing in this way. In the next round, we will make decreases again. Sleep, need, pass over. Sleep, need, pass over. And now, again, one more decrease. Sleep the next stitch. Then knit two together. And then pass over. So it's knit three together and I'm doing it in in this way. So here is knit two together, slip knit, pass over, and now knit three together, slip. Then knit two together. Pass over. Let's do one more. Sleep. Knit. Pass over. Sleep. Knit two together. And again, pass over. Go on and finish this round. That's it. I've done all decreases. Cut the yarn leaving 10-15 cm tail. Use yarn needle or tapestry needle or you can also use hook. Thread the tail. and pull the tail through remaining stitches. So one side. And another one. In total, 18 stitches. For this size. Pull tight. Close the crown. Pull the tail through the center on the wrong side. And now pull the tail twice or three times underneath the same remaining stitches. But before you can make a knot, Oops. Okay, not pull tight, tight, and go on. Pulling the needle underneath remaining stitches. And pull the tail.
you can make one more knot. That's it and cut the yarn. Also we have one more tail here at the beginning. So on the right side I'm doing it in this way, pulling the tail underneath half of the V stitch that you see. And pull. That's it. Let's check what do we have. Beautiful hat. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. It's very important for me. I also like if you leave comments uh, whenever you have questions or just you are happy with your project. Please leave comments. If you are looking for more cable hats tutorials, you can find the lots on my blog. Please check it.